Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to 442 County Route 32 in the town of Hastings. What you're beholding here is a 2004 square foot oversized Cape Cod constructed in 2006. And next to it here, we have a three car garage all on 2.72 acres. This is going to be a wonderful tour. Get ready, get set, here we go. Over here we have a garage, it's a magnificent garage for a couple of reasons and I'll explain in just a second. Again, this was built in 2006. The size of it, the dimensions are 40 by 26. All right, so you got over a thousand square feet here. Let's go inside. There's two things about this that I, re actually three things that I really, really like. Number one, <clears throat> it has got nine foot ceilings in here and a loft, which I'll sneak you up there to take a look. All right. Got a concrete slab poured in such a way that it's not supposed to crack. And you've got eight foot garage door openings here, eight foot garage doors, which means you could put a monster truck in here, all right? And it's got its own electricity, its own electrical service. Let's move to the backyard here. I wanna share a couple of things about this that I think you'll appreciate. Number one, all this area right here, it's all cleared out by the owners. It took them five years to prep the site, get it ready, just so that it had the, you know, the right look and feel for what they wanted. Many trees were removed, but um, also that there's a lot of wildlife here too, including deer and wild turkey. Now the septic system is a raised bed septic system. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's just when, when land can't perk, that is the water can't travel through the land, through the dirt, I should say, uh, well, they have to have what they call a raised bed system, which you have to bring a lot of fill in in order to do that. And that's been done here. $20,000 worth of fill was brought in to make sure that the septic system is perfect. There's also a well that was never hooked up, a drilled well, because once they had it all prepped and ready to go, the public water came in. And she says she loves the public water. So you have the choice of that. As a matter of fact, the well pump, uh, the, uh, the holding tank, and everything is in place in case you prefer a well water. All right, let's go inside and see what kind of magical wonders we can find inside this beautiful home. All right, I'm gonna bring you in through the front door. And to my right, we've got quite a large living room. Now to let you get the effect of the size here, but I want to zero in on this feature right here, which is gas uh, fireplace. And what the owner tells me is that she loves it because as a girl, she used to have to haul in the wood with a wood burning fireplace or wood burning stove. And this right here is propane, which uh, there's no fuss, no muss. Very convenient, nice and warm and cozy. All right, let's go ahead and move to the kitchen. And this was also one of her favorite spots for a number of reasons I'm going to point out. Number one, and I know <clears throat> my mother-in-law, she's incredible when it comes to designing kitchens, and she would come here and appreciate this because some of the upgrades involved with it. You open it up here and you'll see you've got the slide out, got higher grade wood, and you've got uh, a beautiful view out your backyard here, and it's just lightly snowing here today outlets on top right there right there so you can go ahead and plug in your Christmas lights or whatever ornaments that you have that require electricity I asked her what is the one thing you like best about this kitchen she said double oven which is electric and propane gas uh, stovetop burner and I said why she says well if you watch any of the professional chef chef shows you'll find out that in their home this is the combination that they have and this was was in mind when they designed this kitchen another great feature about not only the kitchen but the hallway leading down uh, to the bedrooms is it's got a higher grade really nice looking linoleum matter of fact I had to go down here and touch it because I thought it was ceramic the way it presents itself and I said I said is it easy to clean she says absolutely sweep it Swiffer and you're done all right this property does come with 
appliances, as you can see here, dishwasher, the oven, uh, the side-by-side um, -side refrigerator with the freezer on the bottom. And so let's go ahead and, oh, and last but not least, we've got the bar here, which is nice and just is very, very open. And you'll see that this um, layout is, is very open. Oh, and she says, I love my pantry. I love my pantry. It's got a lot of space here. And if you'll notice, one, one last look here. There's a lot of cabinet space here, a lot of it. Just take a one real quick last look. Okay. You get the idea? Yeah, absolutely. All right, and then down here we have, on the first level, the laundry room. All right, as you can see, there's continuity here with the, the floor covering, which is very nice. And we've got our dining room off the kitchen with the French doors leading out again to the backyard. All right, the ceilings are approximately eight feet tall. And here we go down to two of the four bedrooms. Now we've got a full bath off to the side here. And everything is in really, really nice condition, nice shape. Okay, and here's one of the spare bedrooms that they're using for storage and whatnot. And you've got a nice size closet. The vinyl windows are tip out throughout the entire house, except for the one in the kitchen that looks out over the backyard. So easy cleaning. Master bedroom. Wait till you see the master bedroom bathroom. It's just absolutely gorgeous. All the, the wood treatments are going to go with the property. She said they were quite expensive. So you've got a closet here. You ready for this? I'm just going to turn around here, and we're going to go into the master bath, which is beautiful. Look at this. All wood here. Wood cabinets. Double ceramic sink. And to my right... You've got another double closet. Nice. Okay, stand up shower. Beautiful, huh? All right. It's time to go upstairs. Oh, before I go up the stairs, <clears throat> the owner pointed out one thing to me, which I thought was very lovely. <laughs> And that is, you can see that the stairs are carpeted, but notice right here that this isn't. She felt that it looked tacky if you were to continue down with the carpeting, and I agree with her. And that's an upgraded, nice hardwood there. All right, just FYI. All right, let's head upstairs. You've got two absolutely huge bedrooms up here with dormers. This is an oversized cape, as you know, when we were talking about it on the outside. Oversized cape with dormers and man alive. Lots of light, lots of, lots of light with a double window here. You've got a window right there. Look how big this is. It's hard to completely appreciate it over the video as I'm looking through the screen here, but this is, this is beautiful. Double closet right here. Hey, you've got a sitting area right here that you could I don't know, set up a computer, put a little uh, like a two-seater couch that then you could look out through there at the stars, the moon. Here's your entryway. Isn't that beautiful? Imagine the kids running down that Christmas time. Oh, yeah. The relatives coming in through that front door. And then the second bedroom, which is equally as large as this, but done a little bit differently. You've got the wainscoting, and you've got textured paint on the wall, or a textured wall with paint. And it looks like a taupe color. And again, you've got the double windows. And I'm going to kind of set right here inside, the, inside this area and just kind of show it to you from a little bit different angle. All right. Now, we're going we're gonna to end by going down cellar, and there's some surprises down there I think you're going to like. No, I know you're going to like. We are currently down cellar. What do I like about this cellar? Well, let me tell you the first thing I like about this cellar, and you don't see this hardly at all. Poured concrete walls. This is an upgrade, folks. Those uh, cinder blocks, they're good. They work. You know, mortar has a tendency of deteriorating once in a while. It's bone dry down here. You can feel it. You can smell it in the air. 
There's lack of humidity down here, which is great. Look at that. Concrete floor, of course. And this is what I really, really like about this house. And that is uh, nine foot ceilings in the basement. Man. Okay, you got a propane hot water tank. Got a propane forced air furnace. You've got uh, central air. You've also got a generator outside in case you lose power. It generates power not only to the house, but also to the three car garage that we saw out, outside. We go over to the other side, got lots of insulation. And what they were going to do with this room is create a, a huge media room. They've got a false wall over here that would have allowed them plenty of space to be able to put all the wires, built-in television set, everything. I'm gonna back up here just a little bit so you can get an idea. You can do anything down here, especially with a nine foot ceiling. No more do you gotta worry about boxing things in and having to duck and everything, uh-uh. This is truly, truly an incredible house.